Oh, hey guys. Uh, Alec, what's your dream car? Oh man, um, I'm not much of a car guy. I'm gonna deflect that one back to you. I drive a Nissan Altima, so <laughs> super exciting. That is exciting. I drive a Chevy Cruze, so I think we're right there on the same page. Ooh, we've got one person on the broadcast, so. There we go, Big time. Jen Jenny joined. Welcome. Hey Jenny. Got a question? Uh, thumbs up though. No question, but a thumbs up. Mitch, how do you relax after a hard day at work? Uh, I go home and watch TV with the uh, with the dogs, mm -hmm. and then my wife comes home and we just sit there. What about you? <laughs> Equally exciting. I go to coffee shops. I read books. I walk on the belt line. Do yoga. All relaxing All options. All relaxing. Yes. Yeah. Congrats on the playoffs. Oh, we got Thank you. Oh, that's a good one. Which Alex. Is... It's Alec, guys. Let's just set the record straight here. <laughs> it's, it's always been Alec. Uh, what superhero would you want to be? Oof, man. Batman was always my favorite of the movie, so I'm going to have to go with Batman. Batman's a classic. Who is your favorite Batman? Dark Knight, no question. Heath Ledger, oh, yeah. best to ever do it. Oh, yeah. Best to ever do the Joker. Classic. How about you? Um, I think I'd probably be Superman. Yeah, Superman. I'd like to fly. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, Manu. Thanks, Manu. <laughs> Do you have to have a beard to be a keeper? That's a good one. That is a good one. I don't think Brad can grow a beard. I'd like to know the statistics between goalkeepers and field players in terms of a beards. Beard. It's true. A lot of bearded goalkeepers. Really are. Do you want any of these? What do you like about Tata's style of play? Yeah, as goalkeepers, it's nice to be involved in the buildup and be able to use our feet and, and show that we're more than just shot stoppers and cross catchers and breakaway savers that we can start an attack and help build a team from back to front. Mm. Tips for aspiring keepers. That's a good one. Uh, I think my biggest tip would just be just continue to, to hone your craft. And, you know, if you let in a goal, it's not the end of the world. You just, you know, pick what you did right or wrong and, you know, try to replicate the things you did right and try to fix what you did wrong. I mean, none of us are perfect. You know, every day we still have days where we pick stuff out we need to work on. So it's all about just getting better. Favorite goalkeeper? My favorite goalkeeper. I'm going to go old school. Um, Oliver Kahn. Okay. Was probably my favorite growing up. My namesake. Well, yeah. What, yeah. What about you? Um, I'm going to have to go with... Dave, David De Gea, David De Gea. Yeah. <laughs> Dave. Dave, 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 yeah. Dave De Gea. Classic. Which goalkeeper is your goat? Okay, so all time. Uh, best of all time. Man. Uh, Schmeichel, Peter Schmeichel or Oliver Kahn? Yeah. Those are, those are the two that come to mind. Yeah. I revert to, to Oliver Kahn for the goat, and then I guess my favorite right now would be I'm an Iker Casillas guy, though, so he's still playing. Iker, so, yeah, I like, I like it. Yeah. Pickiest eater on the team. I can tell you who is not the pickiest eater on the team is Mikey Ambrose. Mikey Ambrose. That's probably yes. the better, yeah. Yeah. He will eat literally anything, yeah. including four boiled eggs for dinner. <laughs> and hot sauce. Don't and get hot the hot sauce. sauce. Favorite Mexican dish? Do you like Mexican food? Not a big Mexican food guy. Just simple chips and guac. Solid guacamole is can't beat some, excellent. Can't beat some good at guacamole. Who's the keeper of the year for MLS? Who do you have? For MLS? Yeah. It's been some good performances, but I feel like Brad's been having a stellar year. Oh, man. That's, that's a cop-out <laughs> answer, but you take it. <laughs> I mean, I do see yeah. him every day, right? Brad is up there for sure. Uh, I'd say Brad or Tim Melia. Yeah, Tim's been having up, a good year. Cracking up shutouts, like, kind of flying under the radar as he does. 
Tim's got what, 12 shutouts now? That's crazy. Wow. Hold on. Go scroll up. What position did you play besides uh, goalkeeper? Do you want to go with that um, one? I played, so I played forward and then I played outside back before I started playing Ooh, goalkeeper. Forward. Oh, yeah. What kind of forward? Like a slasher or target forward or getting in I was behind? a poacher, man. Poacher? Yeah, I was like a. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that me and me and Joseph would be the same exact player right now if I didn't play okay. goalkeeper. Yeah. Just score goals, you know. You would have set the record this year? Yeah. Yeah. Except, I mean, he flies. So I don't know if I give him as many headers. Drives the nicest car. Joseph. Joseph, and it's a different one every, every week. Day, yep. Yeah. I don't even know what. He's He's got probably the three nicest cars on the team. Yeah. Yeah, he's really. He's the top three for sure. Best singer on the squad, Andrew Wheeler Amanu, for sure. Yep. Yeah, John Legend esque. 100 percent If you didn't play soccer, what would be your profession? Oh man, that's a good one. Uh I'd like to go back to school. That's not really a profession, but that or or coaching, goalkeeper coach, I think would be a cool gig. How about you? Um yeah, probably um somewhere in, inside of soccer, like front office type work, uh, you know, I think that kind of interests me. Mitch, are you excited to face your former club in MLS play next year? Oh, Cincinnati. Um, yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, they're coming in the league next year, so that'll be interesting. I mean, they'll be in our conference, so we'll play them two or three times. So it'll be fun. It'll be a good atmosphere. Favorite U.S. city to visit? My favorite MLS city to visit is Vancouver. Vancouver, I like the Pacific Northwest, all solid cities. How about you? Um, Chicago. My wife's from Chicago, so we go to Chicago every Christmas and just super nice there. Do you shave each other's beard? <laughs> no, it's going to get past. Yeah. yeah, that's a good choice. What's your favorite activity off the field besides coffee and yoga? And I'm just really bold and boring. Reading. I mean, that's that's all I got. That's all I got. What's your favorite Atlanta neighborhood? <laughs> Mitch. <laughs> uh, Mitch is almost in South Carolina. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm out in the suburbs, so I haven't been able to. Um, I would say Buckhead. I've been to Buckhead. Okay. That counts, right? Yeah. It's an Atlanta that's a neighborhood. Classic out of towner answer. Yeah. yeah. I've heard of that one. <laughs> a lot of guys talking about Bucket. I'm going to have to go with Inman Park or Cabbage Town. All right. I think we got one more. One more. Favorite gloves. There you go. That's a layup. <laughs> I'm just going to throw this one out. West Coast goalkeeper. West Coast goalkeeper. What about you, Alex? Do a plug for your new gloves. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, the spider salt they just came oh, out, yeah. so <laughs> those uh, those are available online, well, along with the uh, the con pros. Take one more, or yeah, let's do one right, more. Last question: How do you communicate with your defense since there could be a language barrier? Uh, I learned the ten most important soccer phrases in Spanish. What about oh, really? you? Wow. Um, yeah, I took Spanish a little bit in high school and then dropped a class in college because it was too hard. But I've been learning a little bit as I've gone along. It helped growing up in Atlanta since I played with a ton of guys that were native Spanish speakers. So I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on it. Cool. All right. Thanks, Thanks so you guys for tuning in. Thanks, guys. Um, Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll see you around.